and welcome back to my channel. On Hi today's guys. video, we have a special guest featuring my husband Tay, my son Tamir. You gonna say something more? Oh. Say hi. Yeah. Ow. All right. So on today's video, I'm kind of gonna give you guys a little bit of a life update. As you guys may have saw, I did um, do a vlog the other day, but I've kind of been MIA, and there is good cause for it. So I kind of wanted to make a video and kind of explain, um, have Tayari come in because it affects him as well. It affects our whole family actually. Um, so without further ado, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join our family, join our channel. I post motherhood and lifestyle mm -hmm. content. So if that is something that you guys are interested in, then stick around and let's kind of <clears throat> recap. First things first is our family dealt with COVID. COVID. So how this all, I'm not sure when we contracted COVID. I feel like we've been fairly careful with going out. So keeping masks on. Yeah. So masks have we been social crazy. distancing at home? Yes. But we still do go out. Well, still we're going out. Still do like when we need groceries or something like that. We go out as a family, but we're masked up. We're social distanced. Like you said, we're six feet apart. Wiping the basket. Yes, wiping things down, sanitizer. So I don't know if this happened, um, I think, in my opinion, that it happened on Christmas Eve when we did some last-minute shopping because after that, um, we were still distanced from people. So I don't even really know. I don't, I don't know. I just know that my throat was real sore. Yeah, so on the Monday after Christmas, so Christmas was on a Friday, right? Um, on Monday after Christmas, um, Tayari was like, Tayari's generally energetic, upbeat. He don't really get sick. Like he's normally it's just, it's me. So, um, you want to get side there? He's struggling. So Tayari was, um, he was like, babe, I don't feel good. I'm about to lay down. And you know, in the height of the climate and everything going on, the first assumption is, oh shoot, he got COVID. So he was like, I feel shaky. I'm, you know, sweaty. Yeah. And I'm just Shit like, oh, man, he got it. But yeah, how small our house is and then with the kids and everything, I'm just like, um, I said, Tayari doesn't normally get sick um, at all. But when he was saying, like, his symptoms and stuff, my first thought was like, oh, man, he got COVID. So um, we didn't do, like, where he quarantined in a room specifically. Um, well, we did for a couple of hours, but then I was like, oh, no, I need help with these kids. So I'm going to need you to come out. <laughs> um, so on that Wednesday, when I was supposed to go get my sister, my I was wearing a mask and we had went to get the oil change. But the oil change turned into something more because they're like, oh, you need this, that and that for your car. So we were in there for like two hours and I had the mask on, which is the longest I've ever had the mask on. And my throat started itching. So I'm like, oh, maybe my throat just dry because we've been sitting here for a long time. Um. And literally, I had got, a, like, the worst headache ever. And, of course, you Google your symptoms, and the first thing it's going to say is COVID. COVID. So I'm just like, oh, shoot. I have to go get my sister from the airport. So um, basically, so we went to go get her and everything. The ah! next, oh, okay. The next day, are you all done? Mm. Are you done? done? My sister. And then the next morning, did you ever lose your taste and scent the next day? Or? Yeah. You never said that you lost your taste. I lost scent. my scent. So on, okay, so we picked her up on Wednesday. On Thursday, and like I was like, oh, I can still smell when I went to sleep. When I woke up, smell gone, taste gone. I couldn't smell anything, and I felt so bad because I hadn't seen my sister. If you guys saw the vlog, I hadn't seen her in a year and a half, and I told her I was like, I think I got COVID, and it's not funny, but she had just had COVID um, in no October. Or something like that so she understood um so i just kept my mask i stayed away like and i was just like i feel horrible because it's like you came mm. like we've been planning for her to come and that's lipstick on his face by the way we've been planning for her to come and i'm just like this is the worst time and i felt so like fatigue and sleepy and mm -hmm. yeah just weak. it was a mess um so yeah so going into 2021 um we had COVID. So it literally killed my mood, killed my vibe. Um, she stayed until we got our sibling tattoos. 
And then, like, a couple of days later, she went to um, other family house. Because I just felt bad. I'm just like, I don't have the energy to really be who I need to be for you. Oh, and um, you like that one? Me too. Um, who I need to be. And then it's like, I don't want her to get it or give it to anybody else. Um, so... Um, we saw this mess, this meme, a meme, right? Like a meme on social media. And it was just like, if you have COVID, it's not a secret. Like you need to tell people. And I agree because, you know, if you don't, like, you know, you could pass it to people. So thankfully, um, you know, we still kept our mask on. We even had our mask on in the house and it was kind of weird. But because um, um, my brother had came over and I was like, yo, I just got to keep this mask on. So, yeah, so we pretty much had COVID and yeah so i just wanted to kind of do like a formal video to let you guys know that yeah we're okay we're not pregnant um we're alive and well but we did have covid um if you guys are out there and you guys are feeling any similar symptoms you know they say to quarantine for 14 days it was hard for us to even get an appointment like all the um, appointment slots were like taking up so like tayari said we're just quarantined for 14 days yeah um so yeah, so we didn't get a formal test, but we did answer, like, the quizzes, and I'm just like, yeah, this is COVID, because if it's taking smell and taste, it's gone. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, today is the 28th. I started feeling back myself, like, maybe day eight, day 16 or something like that. So, um, I just thank God that, like, you know, it didn't transpire into, you know, something worse where we needed medical assistance. Um, but... Yeah, but even the the coughing, we didn't talk about it, but like the coughing and stuff, like it is real. And I know a lot of people are, um, I mean, we're not here to be political or whatever, but I know a lot of people think, oh, that the COVID is a hoax, um, that is not real, there's anti-maskers, yeah, but it's fake news until it happens to you. And we believed, it. I believe the COVID was real. Um, we just figured, okay, well, let's keep the six feet. Let's keep our mask on. Let's, you know, and thank God I kept, um, if you guys are wondering, I kept breastfeeding to Sai because I know that if I did have it or since I had it, it was going to be my, um, an antibody to help protect him. Neither one of the babies got sick. Thank God they were both good, both healthy. It was just us, to be honest. So I just thank God that we are both here alive and well because for some people's families, that's not the case. Um, for some people, you know, COVID took everybody um, and everything. So I just... Thank God that we're good. So, yeah, I will catch you guys on the next video. I'm officially back. This is my, like, I'm back video, my life update. Um, <laughs> expect some content coming from us really, really soon. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Peace.